Hey Pisces, happy birthday to the 226s. I have a question. What happened nine months before February 26th? Because we got a lot of birthdays today. You know what I mean? Happy birthday, Antonina, Adele, Kelly, Jane, Ika, Wes, Jennifer, Philip, happy birthday, Darpan, happy birthday, Ruben, happy birthday, Sean, happy birthday, Rozzy, Linda Ramos, Nella, Kimberly, Lisa. Oh my God, I have to scroll down. Give me a minute. And happy birthday, Cindy. Happy birthday, guys. Check your email later today. You will have something in your inbox from me, a little tarot card, a little message for the year ahead, and a little surprise. All right, kids, let's get into this reading. Happy Sunday. I hope you're having a beautiful weekend. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the Pisces Collective. And to lack. Yes, baby. Five of Pentacles. Hallelujah. Here we go. Bring in the big bucks. Justice. Oh, my God. I remember yesterday, Justice was here, and it was in the reverse, and now it's upright. Oh, God. God has entered the chat. Okay, Judgment is here. We got Major Arcana. Major, Major Arcana vibes. Something balancing the scales. If you have experienced years of lack, oh my God, even before I could say it, years of not getting what was fair, treatment, pay, opportunities, love, recognition, appreciation, respect, it's all balancing out now, Pisces. You are being called to wake up to see it. Look for the little examples of it and the bigger ones will have so much more meaning. You are in your Empress energy, Empress mode, receiving. What else we got, Spirit? Hit us good. That good juice. Queen of Wands in reverse. You might, you might not feel confident about it, or you might not feel confident or as confident as you'd like to because of the treatment from the past. But there's confirmation, maybe some communication, messaging, or momentum moving forward. The end to the conflict. Two fives in reverse. Five, five, ten. Completion of a cycle. This is over. It's a wrap. The hard part's over. One more. Four of Cups in reverse. An opportunity is going to come in that you're not going to want to miss. It will be an emotionally fulfilling gift for you as long as you see it that way. Hangman at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. Suspending expectations and looking at this situation from an enlightened point of view. Are you looking at the little blessings, miracles, and gifts on a day-to-day -day basis as examples of your manifestations coming true? This is something I'm trying to do now. Thank you, Abraham Hicks. Okay. <laughs> Why is this five of pentacles in reverse for Pisces? This is so exciting, Pisces. Let that money rain down, right? That flew. The devil in reverse releasing... I'm so nervous to say this. <laughs> The days of you not receiving love may be coming to an end. The days of you not receiving appropriate recognition and, and treatment may be coming to an end. It could have to do with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Masculine. It doesn't have to be. It could be somebody romantic. Could also be partnerships. But there's definitely action towards emotional fulfillment. And it's because you've done some layer of healing, some releasing of self-limiting beliefs in terms of I guess I'll just accept that. It's like you've eliminated that from your script. I will no longer accept that is what you are saying. Why is justice here? Balancing the scales for Pisces. Truth. Fairness. Equal treatment. Libra energy. Card number 11. If you're seeing 11s. Okay. Justice after... Yeah, maybe a breakup, a divorce for some of you. Justice after, maybe if you're waiting on, um, you know, divorce papers to get signed, that's coming to an end. That's going to wrap for you in your favor, okay? Nothing to fear here. Um, could also be balancing the scales in love in general because in the past it seems like you weren't being treated the way that you wanted to be treated in relationships, whether it's friendships, romantic partnerships, or familial dynamics, probably because you've done like a rewrite of your subconscious. And when that happens with um, healing processes, you end up, there's kind of like a personality reconfiguration that happens. So that's why sometimes people are like, well, who the fuck are you? <laughs> 
Like we used to do this all the time. Or like, what do you mean I can't text you after nine? Or what do you mean? You know, when you have this recalibration of your boundaries, your standards, what you want and expect for yourself, you know, that can be off-putting for others. But that's not your problem. Because you're waking up to the judgment call, right? You're waking up, seeing red flags for what they are, answering your soul purpose where you can, and then wheel of fortune, boom, prosperity is coming towards you. If you were in situations where you were cheated on in the past or infidelity was a problem or situationships where people wouldn't commit, it seems like this is coming to an end. There's only two people up top of this wheel and the third person's getting kicked off, right? Wheel of Fortune's also boom, completion of a cycle. Two tens is a 20 and 20 is landing on judgment. This is aligned. And this was predicted with these two fives, right? That make that 10. Things are coming to fruition for you, Pisces. Because you know what? You deserve it, okay? This is what you deserve. All the love, all the stability, these four um, streams, divinely guided from the universe. You are lotus flower, Pisces. You grow, you thrive, you're beautiful, even in undesirable circumstances and conditions. You keep moving forward. Something fulfilling is coming for you. A renewal in relationships with your family, maybe healing a mother wound, brand new romantic partnership for some of you, um, brand new opportunities to follow a soul calling that fills your cup. Be on the lookout for birds. The moon, Pisces energy, receptivity, divine feminine energy, get ready to receive for the feminines and for everybody. You are passing or you're being presented with some kind of lesson, right? The devil in reverse, five of pentacles. You will be able to move past these pillars now and move towards the full moon. Full moons, releasing the energy, right? Starting anew. This is like coming to a close because you've faced your shadow and your light side. You've like combined forces. And when you transmute that shadow, you're kind of like unfuckwithable, right? A friend of mine says that. Unfuckwithable. Can't be fucked with. All right, Empress Energy, what's coming in for Pisces? A page of rods, a brand new passionate beginning, a spiritual journey, conquest, could be messaging, messages, could be um, if you are trying to conceive, pages are children, the Empress is the mother, it could be brand new, um, brand new baby, <laughs> a brand new kid, brand spanking new kid, especially if you've had difficulty conceiving in the past, it's coming in. Why else is the Empress here? I believe the night of, let me not talk, Shh, I don't know, I know I, I'm getting readings, I'm getting my wires crossed, Pisces, and these readings all day, you know, judgment again, which is crazy, this empress energy, you becoming a mom, you receiving, you finding your empress, you beginning this journey, you reaching out to this empress, you receiving messaging from somebody who admires you, whatever this is to you, this is destiny, this is fate, you've answered the call. It may feel stuck or stopped right now. Do not lose faith. It's coming, Pisces. Okay? It's going to be very grounding. Taurus energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You might have anxiety like, well, where is it? When's it coming? When's this relief? When's this reprieve? When's this gift coming in? It's coming. I know you're feeling insecure about it. You're probably a little nervous, anxious, scared. Maybe feeling like not confident that it's going to come in. Maybe you're wondering like, am I crazy for even hoping? You're not crazy. The end to the conflict is here. Mental conflict is being washed away. 555, five, five, big change, huge. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're scared. Listen, it's okay. No judgment. You're scared because in the past, it's been the same fucking pattern. You've seen the same shit over and over again. Over and over again, it's starts off this way and then I don't get what I deserve. Starts off this way, I get burned. Starts off this way, I didn't trust my intuition, I get screwed. I get that. But fate has a different story for you now. Anybody in the past who has not honored you was just like a learning stepping stone so that we can really appreciate what's coming in now. All right, what's this eight? Jesus. 
Eight of Wands. This is like momentum or communication, right? Queen of Rods, Queen of Cups, Anxiety, King of Swords. Oh, God. Okay. Somebody from... Okay. Somebody, King of Swords in reverse, is very anxious, very much in their head. They see you as both the Queen of Rods, so very attractive, very highly magnetic, attractive, um, vi vital, young, sparkling, glowing, and Queen of Cups. Deeply intuitive, deeply emotionally giving, deeply nurturing, deeply loving. They have anxiety about reaching out to you. Oh, well, well that's, you know, okay. Not your problem, figure it out. Bye. Because there was a really tough ending here. Oh, God. Real tough ending. Maybe there was like friends involved here. Or um, if you're waiting on confirmation, communication from somebody around this like brand new beginning, the fear from the painful endings in the past are like looming over. But there is going to be cause for celebration. There is going to be support. There's going to be like either emotional support, spiritual support, or community support for you. What is this Eight of Wands? Brand new beginning. Also Aries energy. Just be mindful. Be careful. Brand new beginning. This is rebirth energy, that white rose. The sun in the corner. Happiness. Why else is this eight of wands here? And Aries might reach out to you, but I don't, I'm not afraid for you. I think you'll know what to do. That's crazy. Eight of wands in reverse. Eight, eight, sixteen, seven of wands. You might not be speaking to an Aries right now. You might have or you might just have somebody blocked from the past, somebody that you cut off from the past. Um, and they may be reaching out. There also may be a delay in communication about this brand new beginning. Baby news, somebody's into you, somebody wants to offer you a job, opportunity, interview, collaboration, opportunity. It's coming. There may be a delay. That's okay. Look, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stopped energy. Eight of Wands in reverse, stopped energy. That's okay. Enjoy this vacation mode, right? Enjoy the pause in life and be still. Okay. Five of Swords in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Whoever caused you mental conflict in the recent past, they may have, be keeping an eye on you. Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody who couldn't deliver on their words. They may have had emotion for you, but they couldn't deliver. Five, six. So you decided to leave for like a more harmonious situation. Um, or you are... Or this person's like coming back around, right? Could be that. Alternatively, it could be like this is your second go round at trying to connect with somebody emotionally, conceive, um, explore this um, passionate, like emotionally fulfilling career path. It's like a, another go, like a renewal energy, like, all right, round two, let's try again. Round two, fight. Just kidding. That was very Mortal Kombat. Okay. Finally, four of cups in reverse, brand new opportunity. You're not going to want to miss three of wands. You might be like, where the frig is it, right? That's that impatient energy. That's okay. Four of wands in reverse. That's like the end to a relationship or change to something that was once stable. Let me get another one. And that's four, four, which is master healer. As I said that the star card came out. This is too many. King of Cups, Hangman, whoa. Seven in reverse. Pisces, if you're waiting for love, okay, I'm going to try to do every situation. If you're waiting for love and you're feeling impatient, I understand. You're not alone. You're being called to lower your defenses. You might be resisting something that's trying to come in. It could be a King of Cups energy, right? We have Knight of Cups out here, King of Cups out here, Hangman, Pisces energy. You might have to look at this, the pace of this. Look at the pace. The pace, the pace, the pace, that's it. You might have to look at the pace from an enlightened point of view. Maybe slow and steady wins the race. Maybe that's a healthier love for you, Pisces. For those of you who are waiting on news around a brand new path same thing um any impatience is resistance and if you are able to master your emotions and look at the wait time as a gift for you to pour into your stillness your vibration and like 
your energy that's only going to add to your like superpowers on this path right for those of you who are waiting on news for around like fertility same thing um you want the celebration you want this confirmation to come in so bad right yes that's okay that's understandable is this a gift is this potentially this wait time is it a gift is it is it maybe a gift so that you can get into a really centered and aligned point of view emotional mindset mastery of what's going on inside because when we surrender we receive that's empress energy right yeah the star and that's what's going to bring in that healing energy and that's when everything will flow to you pisces okay let me pull star seed for my star seeds thanks for being here guys can you hit that like button if this resonates or if you just want to show me some love i love you baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense oh my god i love that oh i love that that's uh if you feel it act on it go do it pisces also if you feel it and it's like don't act on it like don't fucking act on it right fall into my arms <gasps> surrender holding the opposites extremes of life oh god and look at these faces in the clouds right hangman surrender 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 fall into my arms that's love fall into my arms that's a child fall into my arms this is new family this is happening guys this is happening guys <clears throat> not me getting choked up over happiness okay double mission light worker starseed serve the world by being who? By being you. I love you, Pisces. I'll see you tomorrow.